about Faraday's law. Now we have learned about Faraday's law. Faraday's law mentions two things. One is about the amount of charge. Now the amount of charge is proportional to the current that we are going to use and the time. For today's experiment, we limit ourselves to about 30 minutes. If you do, if you carry out the experiment too short, then your error will be big or the amount of deficit will be very small. If you carry out the experiment long, of course it is good, but then you don't get to go home. Isn't it? Okay. So when you fix it at 30 minutes, in case you have a, make a mistake, we can always repeat it. Uh, so the second uh, rule of, uh, the second part about Faraday's place law is it is inversely proportional to the charge. In today's experiment, we are only handling copper. So our charge is 2 Faraday. Okay? So on, on both iron and cathode, they are also copper. So it is always the same. Now our solution here today is copper to copper to sulfate. However much or however little copper to sulfate you use, the experiment result will be the same because this is purification. Mm -hmm. Now, so use about 100 cm cube or slightly more so that when you immerse your plate inside, your clip, your crocodile clip is not immersed inside. Otherwise, you see that your copper sulfate will be stuck to your copper plate. Then today you will electroplate your uh, crocodile clip. Eh? No need to do that. Eh? Now, so initially we need to clean the uh, copper plates. Now, why do we need to clean the copper plates? Anybody tell me? Nobody? Come, somebody? Yi Cheng. Why do we need to clean the copper plate? Eh? Remove the. What are the impurities normally of the copper plate? Oxide layer, dust, and dirt. Eh? Now, what are the precautions you need to take after that? Anybody interested? Thank <laughs> you. 